Yeah, right here, here we are at Aussie Heads and Race Engines. Um, we're rebuilding a three hour Holden. We've already stripped it and that, so uh, we've got a block of the acid tank and a few things in the way. All we're going to do is just go through and uh, show you what really gets involved and the way it is done. It's not the right way or the best way, it's just the way it is. Just show you the block. This acid tank is pretty sentimental sometimes. There's the block there. That's basically caustic acid. Heat it up. And um, that strips everything back to bare cast iron. So you can tell we've got all the Welsh plugs out of it. All the strips, all the cam bearings are out of it. And so uh, pull that out in the next couple of days. And um, it's uh, 30 thou over already. It's got a little bit of wear in it. So we're going to go 60 thou over. And that'll clean up the boards nicely. And then we work from there. Drop that back in the drink. There she goes. Right, yeah, we'll just uh, go up and just go through a few different components and stuff and putting in it. Like I said, we've already stripped the clock down, cranked this 1010, so we're going to go 2020. Um, like we said, the floor's 30, a bit of wear, so we're going to go 60. And uh, yeah, we can just go through what we've got. So, start with the clock side of things. You see we've got to go 60, so we've got a flat top piston. Um, this is basically a HZ, so uh, a pollution red motor, 308, 308 cubic inch. It's a Holden for those people that aren't Australian. Um, it's basically General Motors, and that's what we call Holden in Aussie land. And it's a 308, 5 litres, V8. Um, basically 4 inch ball. So it was four, 4 inch and 30 thou, now it's 4 inch and 60 thou to clean it up nice and barrel well. That brings it out to about, by uh, the time we finish with the standard crank stroke and everything, um, 317 cubic inches. Um, but yeah, see the pistons, so the flops are uh, going to come out and get bored soon. Um, we'll just go through the rings, the rings um, we've got for this particular motor. Nice hasting ring. Um, they're basically a um, iron ductile, um, uh, molly plasma ring. Um, they're 65 thou over. We're going 60 on the ball. These are 65. They like call 65. Basically, they're a bit bigger, so they reduce your gap. And you'll see later. We'll go through that. Um, you can actually file file them back and have every single ring exact same gap. Yeah, I've got a uh, neoprene aftermarket neoprene um, rear main seal for it. It is a rope seal, but we can run a this aftermarket type. The rope seal just puts a lot of drag on the crankshaft. They're a good seal, but um, put a lot of drag on the crankshaft and actually cause a little bit of lack in the horsepower. Um, anyway, we go through to the from the pistons um, to the main bearings. Got a set of, set of. Um, 20 thou undersize, because the crank's getting ground undersize. What these are uh, is an angular groove, angular groove, and what it is is that's basically, that runs in the cap. You've just got three quarter, you know, quarter groove either side. That's where most of your, um, when your crankshaft turns, that's where basically your minimum point is when the crank rides up the uh, bearing. So that's where your ma maximum oil pressure will be. And um, they're very good performance bearing. Um, go to the big end bearings. So put the crank all cleaned up to, so getting that ground. Same as the King's high performance using the heavy duty bearings. Really nice bearing that. It's an American bearing, but they make them for holding, so that's what we roll with. Um, Jura, Jura, yeah, I don't know, American, yeah, but it is Aussie. We'll make it go our way. Um, yeah, Durabon there, a really excellent cam bearing. That's where your cam bearings are. Once the block's all final machined and everything, we can put them in nicely and the cam slips through. There's five mains. They're very similar to a Chev. It's very similar. Um, yeah, so we go to, we've got a um, timing gear set, Rollmaster. It's got nine keyways in it. Rollmaster's Australian brand. Um, it's all steel with a um, 
true roller chain and it's got nine keyways in it so we can advance and retard the cam timing. Um, there's all your degrees there. Um, when we do an assembly, we can actually dial in our camshaft perfectly. So um, that's why we're an assembly. Got some rod bolts, we're going to close and own the rods later on. Um, got a very nice harmonic balancer. It's a full steel configuration compared to the standard cast iron one. It's nicely degreed there, so it's a very, very nice harmonic balancer. And once uh, we get all that sorted out, all that stuff will be balanced. Set of combo bolts, we're going to close them over, like I said. Timing cover, the uh, timing cover that came off the engine was sad, so just got to buy a new one, mate. You just can't muck around with this stuff. Um, now, to make this thing go, apart from the um, good compression we're running with the flat top pistons, is this Lenati camshaft. It's a 68283, it's got about 280 degrees duration, about 235 at 50 thou pushes over half inch lift um, so because we go over a uh, half inch lift so that's roughly about you know, 12.7 millimeters um, this is 540 thou lift on the exhaust 522 on the inlet so because we go over half inch lift we have to run the double valve spring the single standard spring just won't pop it so um, we'll go on that in a minute but we have to upgrade everything we you go um, Lenati um, anti pump up lifters as well, they're hydraulic anti pump up. Um, gone to a heavy duty um, 80 thou thick, it's 5 sixteenths, um, one piece um, push rod. Um, and from here, so we've got the cam sharp lifters, go to push rods, the push rod then activates. The uh, rockers and what we've done with this engine, we've got a nice little roller rocker. It's a billet configuration, that's one piece aluminium machined. Billet, the roller, roller trunnion, and also a roller on the roller tip, um, which gives it the valve much more action, better action than your valve guide um, opening and closing. Um, they're all held in by a posi lock, right? And what we have to do with a roller set up like this, we've got to run screwing studs, right? They go on the head, we'll have to modify the head. The guide plates, they, they um, hold the push rod like that. Compared to a standard setup, it's just totally different, but extra, best high performance you can get. So because we're doing all this, and the double valve springs, we have to run a mechanical seal over the valve guide, which we're gonna machine soon. And that's it, yeah, they're very nice uh, seal powered, um, that positive valve stem seal, double valve springs, like I said. Now we've gone from standard up to a bigger diameter and two springs, rather than just a single with a dampener, I don't want a dampener in it. We run the retainers as well, so a chromoly retainer, very nice. Um, we run, of course, brand new hardened collets. Um, there's the rest of the valve springs. We'll spec all them out when we finish the seats and the heads and get all our valve spring pressures exactly the same. So basically, also, top all off, got 16 brand new valves. They're L34 size. Um, the inlet standard are 1.5, 1.5 inches. These are 1.6, so 100 valve. In metric terms, you're looking about two and a half millimeters bigger than the head. Um, with the um, inlet valve, Standard there, 1.750, so one and three quarter inches. Um, these are two inch and 20 thou. So you're looking at 270 thou um, bigger, which is like nearly, what, seven, eight mil, seven mil. So it's a, it's a, it's a big lift uh, in, in a head diameter, seven mil is bigger, and two and a half on the exhaust. So that's where we're gonna get our flow. And uh, that complements the camshaft around. It's all about engines are so simple it's basically getting good good compression good sealing your cylinders just they don't have to be big or massive you round parallel the rings everything sealed properly and then to promote everything else you've got your camshaft more air in from the inlet and of course more combustion and you have to have a big lift on the exhaust to get it all out so um, it should be a good motor
Well, the same I'm talking about uh, basically the flat top pistons. I'll be running about 10 to 1 compression. We're up, going to do it spot on. So we go through piston heights and everything. Uh, cranks all ground and everything. Everything will be balanced. Uh, the camshaft, everything. It's a very good spec, you know, the spec engine. This, you know, honestly, this will produce honestly 400 horsepower, not a problem. You know, we, I could even go bigger, but let's say an almost 400 without a problem. So um, we'll take it from there and we'll skip over and do some machining on the heads in a minute and um, show you how it all works. Because we have to modify this stuff. Um, just quickly before we go, just the basic principle of these valves and springs um, working. The valve and spring, the retainer, retains the valve spring, which when it's seated in, in the cylinder head, you've got a taper in there. They were running 7 degree on this one. It's not a massive engine. You can get big, thick 10 degrees, but basically these are your, your collets. They go in a groove there. You've got a groove here. They go in the top groove because the second groove is your seal, your o ring. And basically, they pull up like that, and that retains everything. That's why it's called a spring retainer. So, because we're going double valve springs, like I said before, um, you've got to modify the head, you've got to modify the heads. Standard, they run 5 16 standard rockers with a 5 16 bolt, bolt on, so now we're going fully adjustable. Machine in the heads. So, um, just keep out of that. And, um, we'll catch you soon. Hold.